Hey guys, it's your girl Shonda. Okay, and the reason why I use my name instead of saying my regular intro that I do um, is because I think I'm going to start something called Shonda's Corner. And it's going to be like where I like answer questions, like personal questions people ask me or whatever. Or if anybody wants like some advice on something or a makeup tip or something like that, whatever. Um, I'm going to do that. Like, and then I'm going to just, you know, I think that. You know, I've seen a lot of people do it, and I decided that I kind of wanted to have one too, and it's not really like being a copycat, but, you know, sometimes we get on here and we have stuff that we just want to speak about, and, you know, so I thought that would be a good thing to just open it up, because, like, I want my channel to be about, you know, any, everything, like fashion, makeup, you know, I want to be able, I want, I want to look at my subscribers and uh, people that are actually on my friends list as my actual friends. Um, and I have friends like from everywhere because I used to play an online game and I like the people that I used to play with we are like pretty close and we pr we pretty much keep in, ch in touch with each other all the time we don't talk on the phone but like I'm always on IM and stuff like that and they always IM me and then they follow me over to YouTube and they support me here and all kinds of stuff so with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and open up Shonda's Corner and here's the thing that I wanted to talk about and don't um, it may not be called Shonda's Corner. I might come up with something catchy later, so the name might change. So guys, don't get stuck on that one name. But I just use my. I wanted to use my real name because I wanted to be more like personal with you guys. Because today or last night, rather, at I think two something in the morning, I reached 30 subscribers. And I know it's not a lot, but to me it's a lot, and I'm very, very excited, so I just wanted to say thank you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you, because I thank everybody for their love, their support, and everything, and all the comments that I've been getting, I haven't gotten, I did get a couple negative things, but you know what, it's always going to be a hater out there, you know what I'm saying, It's all. if it wasn't for my haters, where would we be, you know what I'm saying, like if we didn't have haters, then you know what I'm saying, we need them, you know. So, here's my um, first topic of Shonda's Corner, and I'm going to try to make this quick because I'm getting ready for work, and I don't want to run out of time running my mouth. Um, okay, so, yeah, as everybody know, Michael Jackson passed, and I haven't really said anything, and I know people are like, damn, she kind of young to be talking about Michael Jackson, but... I'm 23, but I've, as ever since I can remember, I used to stay at my grandma's house all the time, and ever since I can remember, my grandma had, like, Michael Jackson, and I was, it was three people, you know, it was two people really in the music world that had me, and I was a little, little kid, I can remember climbing on my grandma's, uh, table, her coffee table, and dancing to stroke it, and I had no idea what the stroke it meant, you know what I'm saying, like, Clarence Carter type stuff. And, but, you know, I loved me some Tina Turner, and Michael Jackson was, like, my all-time favorite. Like, I have the bad album, the actual record. I have, like, almost all his CDs and stuff. And when I found out that he passed, it was seriously a shock to me because I was asleep, and somebody texted me and was like, Farrah Fawcett and Michael Jackson died. And I was like, Farrah Fawcett and Michael Jackson died? I'm like, whatever, it's a bad joke going back to sleep. Went back to sleep, and I swear I was only asleep like five minutes before my phone went off again. And I look at my phone, and it's like, did you hear about Michael Jackson? I'm like, no, nah, let me get up, because this is something serious, you know? So I get up, and I'm like, okay, I'm talking to, you know, I called my mom. She didn't answer the phone. I'm like, let me call my grandma, because, you know, old people be watching the news, and they gonna know. So I call her, and I'm like, grandma, did you hear that Michael Jackson died? And she's like, what? No. Da, da, da. So I'm like, oh my God, let me get turn on the news. I turn on the news, and the hugest headline was like, Michael Jackson is dead. And it was like one of my family members died. Because, I mean, I wanted to meet the man. I'm not going to lie. Michael Jackson, who the hell can say? He was like the black Elvis. You know what I'm saying? It ain't been but two people in the world that can have really shook people like with their music to me like Elvis was you know like the king of rock and roll and then he'll come you know Michael Jackson with the king of pop and y'all know that man I mean the way he moved he looked like he floating on air so here's the things that really really bother me and I'm gonna throw them out and y'all can like give me like give me text comments and stuff like that or y'all can send me hit me up with a personal message but let me throw this out here real quick that there was a couple things that pissed me off in the news media about Michael Jackson one was, should his daughter Paris 
been allowed to speak at his memorial service. I'm going to say, hell yes, yeah, she had every right to speak at her daddy's memorial service. The man is gone. Yes, he did make the kids, you know, wear scarves and, and stuff like that. But he won, He was trying to protect his kids from the media because that man really could not walk out of his house without somebody shoving a camera in his face. Do you understand? Like, if you were that popular or you were that famous, you would get tired of that for a while. And if you had kids, you would definitely want to try to protect your kids, you know, from that type of thing. You know, especially after he been lied on about molesting little kids. I don't care what nobody say. I didn't care if he really, you know, if 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 y'all if people really felt that he did that, I did not care because in my heart, I knew he didn't do it. And I was going to support him and I was going to still be a fan of him no matter what. You know what I'm saying? Um a lot of people, sorry y'all. Mama calling. She's going to have to wait. Um a lot of people don't understand that People are lie on you, especially when they they you got something that they want. They will lie on you just to throw you under the bus. And you know, it it really bothered me for people to be saying all this stuff about Michael and doing him like they doing him and saying the things that they saying. You know, she had every right to speak at her daddy's memorial service. That's her daddy. You know what I'm saying? I if my daddy was Michael Jackson and he kept me on, a, I would come from up under that veil to say what I had to say. And she had every right to speak. You know what I'm saying? And I love what she said because she said, ever since I was born, my daddy has been the best daddy to me. You know what I'm saying? And she loved him. And that's all that matters because that's her daddy. Now, the other thing that bothered me was, okay, somebody had the nerve to put on the news that Michael Jackson had track marks up and down his arm and his veins had collapsed. Why is y'all putting that man business out there? If he was on drugs, he still was the king of pop. He still got more money than you. So what you what you complaining for? Hating on the man. The man is dead and gone. His soul cannot even rest. Because y'all just digging up this man's name, talking all kind of mess about him. It don't make no sense, you know? Then, you know, and I, me and my mom, we, we talk all the time, like, all the time. And so we always be making this joke, like, you know, when people be saying stuff, they be baking a cake, right? And then they'll say something to top what they said that just be ridiculous. And they'll be like, dang, you just put the icing on the cake too. How? So they baked the cake, like, the day before. Like, they had said that he had track marks and stuff. So I was like, dang. They, I called my mom. I was like, you know they done baked this cake. And we was, like, rolling. And then she was like, well, because I can't call her the next day about it. And so she was like, well girl let me tell you they put the icing on it today i said what happened she said they told me he had track marks in his neck and i was like what what is wrong with these people this man is dead and gone he was a pop icon and the thing that bothers me is a lot of people that was like so like oh jacko the wacko and blah 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 oh now they sitting up there crying oh michael jackson why y'all didn't show this man that y'all loved him when he was alive michael jackson went through a lot of things in his life yes as fans he knew his fans loved him but like some of the people that's coming out the box and coming out whatever they they not they didn't show him while he was alive i'm a type of person like Show me that you care about me. Show me that you love me now while I'm alive so I know. Because when I'm dead and gone, I can't see any of this stuff. You understand? I'm dead and gone. And for the fact that, you know, it really hurt me that Michael passed. And I didn't I didn't cry. I had, like, because I'm a person, like, I'll shut down. So I was really, like, bothered by the fact that he died. And, um... So, the other night, I didn't even watch his memorial service because I told, my, I told my boyfriend, I was like, look, I can't take, you know, watching the memorial service because I had went through something um, last October and I'm not a person good with funerals or anything like that. I'm horrible at it. And, um, and so I was like, my mom had told me what his daughter had said and I was like, well, I do at least want to see what she said about her daddy. So, I clicked on the video. They had it on YouTube and I saw it. And that made me cry to see her break down like that because I kind of understood her pain. And I just want to say, you know, 
For real. Everybody, y'all need to cut the crap, regardless of whatever y'all felt about Michael Jackson. Don't leave no dirty comments on people's page, because I done seen people leaving comments about, um, I hate to see a good white child go to a nigga family, stuff like that. And excuse me, because I don't want nobody to be offended, but I'm just, seriously, that stuff needs to stop. It's ridiculous. It's no reason people leaving hate comments, people running around talking um, bad about black people and all this stuff. I'm getting tired of it. I don't want nobody to leave me no kind of comments on the bottom of my page talking that mess, because you know what you will get. You would get deleted. You might get cussed out depending on my mood because, you know, whatever. But seriously, I don't want any of that going on. And I just wanted to tell everybody, you know, I love y'all. Kisses. Kisses. And I thank y'all for y'all continued support. And that's all I just wanted to say. I just wanted to throw that out there. So stay tuned for more from me. All right.